I believe in America. America has made my fortune. And I raised my daughter in the American fashion. I gave her freedom, but I taught her never to dishonor her family. She found a boyfriend, not an Italian. She went to the movies with him. She stayed out late. I didn't protest. Two months ago, he took her for a drive with another boyfriend. They made her drink whiskey, and then they tried to take advantage of her. She resisted. She kept her honor, so they beat her, like an animal. When I went to the hospital, her nose was broken, her jaw was shattered, held together by wire. She couldn't even weep because of the pain, but I wept. Why'd I weep? She was the light of my life. Beautiful girl. Now, she'll never be beautiful again. <laughs> Sorry. I, I went to the police, like a good American. These two boys brought the trial. The judge sentenced them to two years in prison. Suspended sentence, suspended sentence. They went free that very day. I stood in the courtroom like a fool. And those two bastards, they smiled at me. Then I said to my husband, for justice, we must go to Don Corleone. Why do you go to the police? Why not come to me? What do you want from me? Tell me anything, but do what I beg you to do. And what is that? That I cannot do. I'll give you anything you ask. We've known each other for many years. And yet, this is the first time you come to me for help? I have yet to be invited to your house for a cup of coffee. And my husband is godfather to your only child. <sighs> it's as though I must be frank. You were afraid to be in my debt. I didn't want to get into trouble. I understand. You found paradise in America. A good trade, made a good living. The police protected you, kept you out of the courts of law. And you don't think you need a friend of me. But then you come and say to me, Don Coyon, give me justice. <laughs> but you don't ask with respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me godmother. Instead, you come into my house on the day of my daughter's graduation, and asked me to murder for money? I asked you for justice. This is not justice. Your daughter is still alive. Then they can suffer then, as she suffers. How much shall I pay you? Bonacera, Bonacera. What have I done for you to treat me so disrespectfully? If you had come to me earlier in friendship, this scum would be suffering this very day. And as an honest woman, if you ever were to have any enemies with me, they would all fear you. Be my friend, Godmother. <laughs>